Okay, guys, I just want to make a quick video just to highlight an issue with these fractions. So 1FR, one fraction, uh, when you're putting contents into a grid. So I've got a sample here where I've got a block, which I've made a grid, 30 pixel gap, and 1FR, 1FR as my grid template columns. Now, what we're seeing is a very broken grid where if I just save that, have a look at how that looks live. We've got this massive horizontal scroll. Uh, this column is super wide and this one is squashed where we would expect them to both be equal widths and within that container. And I'm going to show you the reason why that is. Now, I'm going to bring up a quick document here and show you what I'm talking about. So basically what I've done is one fraction, one fraction is what I've put in there, which is exactly the same as typing repeat uh, brackets 2 comma 1 FR. That's exactly the same as doing that. So if I change that to repeat 2 1 FR, we've still got the same problem. Then we've got a different representation. We've got repeat 2 with min max 0 1 FR. And if we put that in the grid template columns, our problem is fixed. So let's just check on the front end. Our problem is fixed. Now, why is that? So by default, with the CSS uh, implementation of this fraction, so one fraction actually gets interpreted by the browser as min max zero, so auto one FR. So the minimum of auto and the maximum is one fraction. Now, when you're on auto, what's happening is the grid is calculating, well, this grid item is calculating the full width of that carousel, including all of the off canvas items as the actual width of that carousel. And then it's allowing the minimum width to be the calculated width. So if that's like 3000 pixels wide, including all of the off canvas stuff, then it's actually saying I want a minimum of 3000 and a maximum of one fraction. And that's what's breaking it. So it's really important if you want to control your grids, don't use 1FR. Use one, a min max of 0 1FR. Or even if you're um, typing it out like this, if we did a min max of 1F 0 1FR for our first column and our second column could be one uh, a min max of 0 uh, 2 fraction. So it would be 1 fraction and 2 fraction. But that's going to still give us the correct thing. I'm just going to try that actually. I'm going to put that in there. There we go. That works. So our first column is uh, minimum zero, maximum one fraction. Our, our second column is minimum of zero, maximum of two fractions. So it's important to use this min max zero um, when you've got content inside that grid that might be calculated as being larger than the actual width of that column that you want. So that's a really important thing to know. Um, and uh, when you have these problems where your columns are far too wide, guarantee you that's what's gonna be your problem. So hopefully that helps you. And uh, if you like this kind of thing, hit the subscribe, hit the like. Thank you.